This is Luigi Tramontana from Craft Innovations. I am going to show you the multi-state cam. Now this looks very, very complicated here, but of course it's not. It's actually very simple. These are just cameras that this camera here, the current state camera, wants to travel to when you give the order. And these ones are called O1, wanted state, O2, wanted state, O3, wanted state, up to 10 wanted states. So there are 10 wanted states for this current state camera to travel to and not only travel to, also to copy the focal length and target distance. So if I have this camera here and I change this one to say a thousand, like so, then when, when I give the order for the camera to move to this one here, well, then it will change its focal length to this to, to be the same as this one. There is a cage here, relative cage. Now, this one could be parented to, say, a car or whatever that moves, and all of these cameras will always calculate their positions relative to this cage. Now, they don't have to pa be parented to this cage, not at all. So this camera should actually almost always be parented to something else. But this cage here makes uh, the the sort of the the center of motion uh, rel relevant. So if you want ten different angles of a car in motion, well, then you need to parent this cage to that car, and then uh, uh, parent these ones to the car around. Now, let's just see how we give the command. Well, that's very simple, because everything you do in Craft uh, Direct Studio is based on inputs. Now, in my case, I have mapped the 0, 1, 1 in state to the keyboard 1 key here. You can do it to anything you want. I mean, I just do it 1, and then I did 2, detect here, like that, up to 0, which is the 10th. and then I just hit the save as start profile here so that I get this mapping every time I create one of these instances. Standard procedure. So let's just hit record here and see how this current state behaves. There is one more really important thing here because I will show you later on this camera. This is a standard camera with which I, I changed the focal length as well as the position here. So I will show you the standard methodology to, to uh, use this because uh, um, this camera that I will mount, for example, this fourth camera too, is, uh, has precedence when it comes to, to um, focal length. But more on that later. First of all, let's just uh, see what happens when I press record. Well, the default settings is quite smooth settings actually so you see that the camera moves to the first one here in a smooth fashion its uh, velocity uh, um, its velocity is, is uh, limited maximum velocity is limited and the it smoothly goes from one place to the other now if I hit the second key here you see that the focal length actually changed to the one that it goes to uh, as long as it's not parented to something, uh, then it goes to that one, but we will take that later. And I hit the fourth key, then it goes back to the, the other focal length here and takes the place of this one. Uh, and so, I mean, I can move this around uh, how much I, ever I like, and I can rotate the uh, cameras. Let's just rotate this one a little bit like uh, so, just to show you a point here. So that's the sixth camera, and bang, we get the same position as the other one, but smoothly go to that one. So, but if I use this camera uh, as a camera switcher now, that's a different story. Uh, okay, before I go to the camera switcher, uh, which you actually change, um, the easiest way is to choose the camera switching preset here. But I will show another thing here because it's more visible actually if you do it now. So. Let's just make this wanted state follow this camera here, which I have animated and changed the focal length on, keyframed everything. And uh, let's just parent this uh, to this one, and uh, then we zero everything here, so it takes on the exact same position as that one. 
Nice. So that means that the warning state is now mounted on top of this uh, camera one. Yeah. But they have different focal lengths because this uh, bottom camera has a focal length of 10 to begin with and ends up in 1000. And the warning state does not follow that one. But as you will see here, if we hit record, we will see that this wanted state, if I hit the fourth key now, then it jumps to that one. And as you see, it's delayed and smoothed out. And it also follows the, the focal length of that camera. So let's do that again. And hit fourth key immediately here, just so we can follow it like that. As you see, so this is not camera switching. This is with smoothing, which is very, very nice actually. I mean, you can use it for tons of things uh, that just switches cameras. So this is uh, uh, the dream for a, a a director that comes from the movie industry and into the animation industry, just to have these things done here. And uh, let's now switch to the camera switcher and have a look at the parameters here now very very quickly here you always have these tool tips that jumps out here so i'm not going to explain these parameters more than you could set separate uh, ways for the current state camp to to, to go to that specific camera uh, here but uh, I usually don't have to do that because I have the same setting for all of them. And then I use simplified settings here. So that's the easiest way to do it. And then you have translational response factor, how fast it uh, reacts to changes in the one it states rotations and the maximum rotation velocity. So you limit stuff from this one and ha then how fast it should travel to that one. And uh, the same goes for the field of view, how fast can you change the field of view so that it's not instant if the bottom camera is instant, you have the target distance response factor and so on. And uh, it's just how quickly does the camera adjust to the wanted state cam, how quickly does the current state cam adjust to the, the wanted state cam. So that's what all these parameters do. And I'm not going to go into depth because it's standard procedure as before, you can watch other videos and learn that. Now, the camera switching just zeroes everything here, which means it's immediate. So, with the camera switcher here, it uh, makes, makes uh, well, it's exactly like it sounds like. It switches the camera position. Let's actually grab the current state cam here, like so, and then switch. Yeah, like that, and if I put, hit the second, it just switches to that particular camera. So nothing magic about this it's just switching the cameras but as you see if you sit with a customer and you have rigged this fantastic scene which I will show you now as a last little thing then you will be able to change the current view that you're looking from because if you're looking from the current view camera here as you see current uh, the text is a little bit um, Oh, yeah, but this is the current state transform cam the camera actually and you look through it and switch in this scene between different parts uh, I cannot run this due to Camtasia recording here it requires but this scene here is very very complex it has all of these camera rigs you can find this uh, scene uh, on our home page and download it uh, if you want to show your boss to convince him that this is the, the thing that you need or something there are many of these kinds of scenes and um, for these ones you have many different cameras here and of course we have the multi-state cam at the bottom this is important because otherwise you get these delay effects because we always simulate from up to down so that's it and uh, if we just have a quick 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 look here at the for example the um, let's take the car body here and we go to the relocator and we go here to the to the uh, uh, the driver cam and then we go all the way down 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 in the hierarchy and what do we find there well we find a, a wanted state and this wanted state is uh, what we will use when we press the rec uh, the the two button it will jump to this particular camera in this scene so that's all I'm going to say about this actually if you want to check out this scene there's a video tutorial for it thank you very much